So I wanted to go over flaring a little bit with you, and I'm using a kit here um, that's used for air conditioning, but you can also use it for fuel line, brake line. It has all kinds of accessories in it. Um, Blue Point sells a copy of it. So a couple of tools that you need is you need the actual 516 double inverted flaring start with this tool. And then there are two clamps that hold on to the tubing. So we're gonna put this in to the tool. I need to fit the ferrule in before I put before I flare the end. That's most important. It's pretty straightforward. You put it flush with the end of the kit and then tighten it up. What I gotta do is make sure the end of the tubing is flush with the end of the tool. All right, once it's flush with the end of the tool, now what we can do is Tighten this down. With this Cooper nickel tubing, um, this grips on very, very well. And it flares very easily. So you want to try to get the gap closed. I find with stainless steel, you absolutely have to have the gap closed. Otherwise it won't flare properly. So that's up against the shoulder. I take the flaring tool adapter, which is going to fit inside the tubing, thread it up in. This is a great tool. I've owned one of these for many years. Once that's flush, slightly snug up the release, and it's a hydraulic pump. Just pump it until it bottoms out. Once the tool bottoms out, that is gonna put the right shape to the tubing before we put the double flare part. And I can back that out. Looks really good. So that takes the tubing and basically does this with the tubing. And then we're gonna put the double flare on the end of it with the next just angle shape is all it is. So it's just a 45 really is a, a comb tool. So we can slip this one out. Put this in. Don't forget to put the ferro on first. Nothing like making a nice, beautiful fuel line and then forgetting to put the ferro on. I tape the ferro on sometimes, just so I'll always remember. And this tubing flares so easily, it's nothing like trying to do it with stainless steel. So I highly recommend you use Cooper nickel or copper nickel instead of stainless steel, just because it's so much easier to work with. It's just as impervious to corrosion as stainless steel is. It doesn't look as pretty, but... And it's a super fast, easy tool to use. And once you're done, you have a basically perfect double flare. And that tool just works really, really well. So now I can install this on the engine and um, finish making some dimensional bends on it, and it'll be held in place.